Food is, I think, one of the most creative things that we all do. You know, you can go a very long time without picking up a pen or sitting down to a computer and writing a story or writing a poem or painting a picture or drawing something, but every single day we're thinking creatively about what we're going to have for dinner, what we're going to have for lunch, what are we going to make ourselves for breakfast in the morning. Any form of art is putting together different building blocks, whether it's colours or sounds or pictures of certain things. In cooking, it's exactly the same. You choose ingredients, you choose processes, you pile them all together into something that looks or tastes or feels good to you, and then that's what you've created. I'm Adam Liao, I'm a food writer, I'm a TV presenter. I do all kinds of things, really. I, <laughs> it's hard to describe what I do, because I, I, I do an awful lot, but I guess most of my day is thinking, writing, and cooking food. My inspiration when I'm coming up with a new recipe, for example, is usually problem solving. I start with a problem and then try and fix it, and that could be, here's a dish that I enjoy making, what's a way that I could do that easier? Or here's a dish that uses five ingredients that I don't always find in my local supermarket, here's a way that I can do that with just exactly what I have at hand. Or here's a dish that takes three hours, let me see if I can do it in one, or 30 minutes, or 15 minutes, or five minutes. I don't like to write recipes just for the sake of here's another recipe with my name on it. You know, I, I probably write three to 500 recipes a year, depending on the year. So that's an awful lot of recipes. And if it's just, here's another thing that you can cook. There are millions and millions and millions of recipes out there that are just a, a couple of keystrokes away. And for me, if I'm going to write another one to throw into that giant pile of millions of recipes, I, I want it to actually have a purpose. You know, I, I want someone to, to actually cook it. I want it to be fun or I want it to be quick or I want it to be easy or I want it to be emotional or, or, or something. I, I, I think of why I want to write the recipe first and then I try and write to that purpose. The interesting thing, I guess, is I'm not cooking a recipe for somebody. If I write a recipe and then they go away and cook it, they're cooking it for somebody else. So I'm essentially a third party in that creative transaction. Sure, I've planted an idea in somebody's head, but then they've gone and done it. So I think if you're writing a recipe and you try and put too much ego into it, you've always got to realise that you're writing something that is going to be created by one person for another person, and maybe there might be a point where you come up in the conversation, but it's so not about the person that wrote the recipe, it's about the person that cooked it, it's about the person it served to, and you've got to stand back from that a little bit and, and realise that you're not the most important person in the room when that recipe is actually going to come to fruition. So if you don't have a good idea uh, for your recipe or you're not writing it for a particular purpose other than to stroke your own ego, I think you're going about it wrong because you're never going to be the most important person in the room. For young creators trying to create, I think you've always got to have a purpose. And if your purpose is just self-gratification, making something that you're happy with, that's one thing, but I don't think that's ever going to push you to create something that's more than yourself. If you want to change the world, if you want to achieve more than you are at this point, you can't constantly keep gratifying your own ego about it. You've got to try and create something that's bigger than yourself and to do that you need to have a purpose that's bigger than yourself. Do you want to help somebody else? Do you want to make somebody else's life easier? Do you want to create something that is so beautiful that, that even you stand back and go, wow, I'm amazed by that. If you don't have a purpose in what you're creating, then there's really no point in creating it in the first place.